At this point in lesson two, you have had lots of practice with writing complete sentences. You know that each complete sentence starts with a subject, a person, place, or thing, moves on to a verb, some sort of action word, and then ends with the rest of the complete thought, starting with correct capitalization and ending with correct punctuation. But sometimes when we write complete sentences in a row and they're really short, when we read our writing out loud, it can sound really choppy and we wanna make sure that we are adding rhythm and flow into our writing, just like an expert writer would. So how do we fix that? We fix that using combining words. Whenever we have a list of complete sentences and a piece of writing, and they sound really short and they're read in a way that sounds a little bit choppy and we're constantly having to stop at a new period, we wanna look for two complete sentences that share a similar idea and see if we can combine them together using a combining word. So for example, I have a story right here. It says, I like to play outside. I can't ride a bike. I can roller skate. My sister plays too. It is so fun. We are always outside. So this is a story all about me loving to play outside with my sister, things that I can do and things that I can't do when I'm outside. But when I read it, even though I use all complete sentences, I read it really choppy and I'm constantly stopping at these periods and having to catch my breath and read again. So what I wanna do is look for two or more sentences that share a similar idea and see if I can combine them using a combining word into one longer sentence to add more rhythm and flow into my writing. So for example, my first three sentences say, I like to play outside. I can't ride a bike. I can roller skate. Now these two sentences right here are both sharing a similar idea, talking about what I can't and what I can do when I play outside. So I'm gonna take my two sentences and I'm gonna add them together. My sister plays too. It is so fun. We are always outside. Now these two sentences right here, my sister plays too, and it is so fun, are two sentences that are talking about the same thing. It is so fun is talking about what I think it is when I play with my sister. So these two sentences also share a similar idea. So these two sentences and these two sentences, even though they're complete, I can combine them together using a combining word to make them longer and flow more when I read it out loud. So let's take a look at what combining words I could use. I like to play outside. I can't ride a bike. I can roller skate. So my first sentence is talking about something I can do, but then I talk about something I can do. So what combining word do you think I could use? I can't ride a bike or I can roller skate. Mm, that doesn't make much sense. I can't ride a bike for I can roller skate. Mm, also doesn't make much sense. Let's try but. I can't ride a bike, but I can roller skate. See how we combine these two sentences together using a combining word? So now instead of two sentences separated, we can add a combining word and make it one long sentence. But we know that all complete sentences have to be a little bit fixed. So in this case, we would take out this period and keep our one at the end of the sentence. It now reads, I can't ride a bike, but I can roller skate. Let's take a look at our next sentence. My sister plays too. It is so fun. So now these two sentences share the same idea, but we can combine them together using another combining word. My sister plays too. It is so fun. It is so fun is talking about how I feel when I play with my sister. So what combining word do you think I could use? My sister plays too, so it is so fun. Mm, could work, but I bet we could try a different one. My sister plays too. And it is so fun. Now that sounds like a combining word that could, could bind my two complete sentences together. So now it reads, I like to play outside. I can't ride a bike, but I can roller skate. My sister plays too, and it is so fun. We are always outside. Now that story sounds so much better than the story that I had before. 
The first time I read it, it sounded like this. I like to play outside. I can't ride a bike. I can roller skate. My sister plays too. It is so fun. We are always outside. Which is a piece of writing, but I can make it so much better if I use my combining words and change my complete sentences from two to one. Just like we did together. So in your writing today, see if you can take two of your complete sentences that share a similar idea and join them together using a combined word like yet, for, so, or, but, or and.